for the second straight week, unfortunately, we are talking about intentional wrecks. Last week, Chase Elliott intentionally wrecked Denny Hamlin at Charlotte and was suspended for one race. This week, Austin Dillon accused Austin Sendrick of intentionally wrecking him at Gateway, and NASCAR has made their decision on if there's going to be a penalty or not. The answer is no. I'm going to read you what Elton Sawyer said, and then also just talk about the incident itself, but... I missed the race, the majority of the race on Sunday, but I was able to watch the replays of this wreck. So I asked you in the community post thing, did you think that Austin Sendrick intentionally wrecked Austin Dillon? Here was the response. 105 votes as of the time of recording this. 25% of you said yes, Austin Sendrick did intentionally wreck Austin Dillon. And then 75% of you said no, Austin Sendrick did not intentionally wreck Austin Dylan, the battle of the Austins here, um, you know, it it just didn't seem that intentional to me. Uh, let's look at the replays here. So just coming down the front straight, three wide, Dylan goes up right there, and Cindric comes down at the same time. Unless like it, it just looks like they both moved at the same time. Either Cindric was trying to get in behind Dylan, Dylan was trying to cut up in front of Cindric, and they just collided. This angle looks a little bit worse, where Cindric, it looks like he just turns left into him, but it it's nowhere, nowhere as bad as the Elliott Hamlin or the Wallace uh, Larson situation. It's nowhere as bad. If this was intentional, Austin Cindric did a really good job of disguising it because the other two examples we've seen. Elliott bounced off the wall, straightened it out, hooked a hard left. Bubba Wallace hit the wall, straightened it out, straightened it out, hooked a hard left. Austin Cindric, I don't even know what would make him mad. Like they didn't even tell us why. Like what happened? Like why is Austin Cindric mad at Austin Dill? Did he put him in the wall? Did he spin him earlier in the race? Like why is Austin Cindric so mad at Austin Dill that he feels the need to to hit him in the right rear into the wall? makes no sense to me why Austin Cindric would do it. But once again, like if he did intentionally do it, he did a pretty good job disguising it because he was right there and it was like the littlest just, you know. Uh, but no, I, I really didn't think that was intentional after first glance, second glance, whatever number of glances this is, 10, 15. I don't think it's in any way intentional. I don't think that Austin Cindric meant to turn Austin Dillon. I don't think Austin Dillon meant to wreck himself. I just think that they both kind of, and then eventually turned each other. So uh, yeah, I really don't think it's intentional. Uh, I don't know what the data said, like Hamlin provided the SMT data last week. So I don't know if Cindric's data just showed that he barely moved or what it showed, but uh, Austin Dillon accusing Austin Cindric of intentionally wrecking him is a pretty big accusation. That's a big accusation in racing. Uh, so I'm curious to see how Austin Cindric's going to respond, uh, whether it's in the media center next week or, uh, on the racetrack, if he races Dillon a little bit harder, maybe doesn't give him as much room. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that, that would hurt as a race car driver to get accused of intentionally wrecking someone and not doing so. Uh, only Austin Cindric obviously knows what happened there. Uh, if he intentionally did or not. And once again, I still don't think he did. But I feel like just the reason that this is still being talked about, that this accusation came about, is because of how time sensitive, we the time sensitivity of it. The week before, we saw an intentional wreck with Denny Hamlin and Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott got suspended for hitting Hamlin in the right rear and turning him into the wall at, what, 180, 190? And then the next week, someone gets hit in the right rear at the end of a straightaway and goes, would have been head on into the wall if it wasn't for Stenhouse there to save the day. Well, the day was over, but, you know, to save a harder impact. So I feel like just because it was freshly on everyone's mind that there was just an intentional wreck, someone got clipped on the right rear, and, you know, there was a suspension. It's fresh on everyone's mind. Everyone's sensitive about it right now. Everyone's talking about it right now. You're like, oh, Chase Elliott's missing this week because he got suspended. Oh, Denny Hamlin, you know, he's still sore from the wreck. You know, everyone is still talking about it. Drivers are getting asked about it in the media center that didn't have anything to do with the wreck. So it's still fresh on everyone's mind. Everyone's very sensitive about the topic. So the instant you get clipped in the right rear, it's like, oh, I got intentionally wrecked. That's not always going to be the case. 
Sometimes someone's going to misjudge. We've seen misjudgments in the past. Drivers make mistakes. It looks like here Austin Cindric and Austin Dillon made a mistake. And if Austin Cindric's more at fault, Austin Cindric made a mistake. He didn't mean to clip you, Austin Dillon. Um, and, you know, it's we've seen mistakes in the past that have resulted in guys getting clipped on the left rear, on the right rear, uh, clearing themselves up. Like, not everything is going to be an intentional wreck. I think just because it's so sensitive right now, everyone's thinking about it. That is why maybe Austin Dillon said it. Maybe he truly believes if this was three weeks ago before the incident of Elliot and Hamlin that it was intentional. I'm not sure, but yeah. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I, I feel like this could be a slippery slope in terms of just the accusations of intentionally wrecking. Like the, the Elliot Hamlin thing, the Bubba Wallace, Kyle Larson thing, those were intentional. No question. If you ask me, uh, those are also at very dangerous parts of the track going very fast in the curve on the front stretch. Like that is not a place to do it. Um, even if this was an intentional wreck, it still would have been a bad place. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but you know, it, it just wasn't as egregious. It wasn't as, you know, as I said with Elliot and with, uh, Bubba Wallace, they hit the wall, they straightened it out and then they cranked the wheel hard to the left and obliterated their opponent. Uh, Cindric, this was at the other end of the straightaway. He barely turned the wheel and clipped Austin Dillon. I don't think it was intentional unless the data says otherwise, unless Cindric comes out in a week and says, I meant to do that. Why didn't you suspend me? I don't think Austin Cindric did this on purpose. Uh, completely different scenarios. Not intentional, if you ask me. Good for NASCAR to not have a penalty. Here was the statement. I never read it. On Sirius XM this morning, Elton Sawyer said they have looked at data on the Cindric Dillon incident. It was recorded even though not available live and deemed this one as really hard racing and no penalty. So, yeah, that's why I think it was hard racing and just a mistake by Cindric, a mistake by Dillon. I mean, truly, that first angle really just looks like they both kind of, Cindric goes down, Dillon comes up, they clip each other like, it, it's just, it's, that's what it is. I don't think it's intentional anyway, but we'll see. Oh boy, hopefully we can go a week uh, without intentional wrecking accusations at Sonoma. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, thanks for watching this video. That's all I got for today. As you can see, I'm back in a somewhat normal studio. You guys have seen this before. Uh, but yeah, I'll be here for a couple weeks and go back to the apartment. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got a lot of die casts here. I might do some die cast reviews. I got a little notes page of what I could do. Um, and I'll let you guys know anything, obviously. And any other videos that come up. Obviously, news, race recaps, all that stuff. And I will see you guys whenever the next video is.